Hi everybody, hope you're doing good. Thanks for tuning in for this week's episode. Being on top of your game and improving all the time, being creative, can be very, very tricky. So here are a few of my tips for you guys to continue improving and avoid creative slumps. Number one tip, and maybe my favorite tip of this video, is build a personal project. Do something for you. No boss, no client, nobody to tell what you do and what to create. Surround yourself with like-minded people, and the beauty of this really is that you can do whatever you want. It's also a little bit scary. It can take a lot of time, but that's the beauty of it. I've been through this and it's the building things up process that's that's really cool. Um, do a list and list all the things that you need, your dream location, the type of performer you want to have, if you're like me shooting dancers and performers, and go step by step. In this particular project, I pitched my ideas, story, and project to a lot of people. It took me six months to have the place, the location, the people, team together the team around me to create this image you probably have seen it before and it's currently my personal project and I hope to push it as far as I can I insist doing something for you is really important you know you learn so much in the process and this really helps you to, to boost your creativity and helps you improve your photography. These images you will create might become your signature work and may take your whole career to another level. Number two, do test shoots. I believe that you should do some test shoots from time to time. Um, it's a tricky subject. People say that it kills the industry, but I don't think it does. So what are test shoots anyways? It's really simple. A model that you will find somewhere will give you a little bit of his or her time for you to shoot them and in exchange you will give them the resulting pictures it's up to you guys to see what you can do exactly with the pictures of this test shoot for you the advantage of this is that you can test specific things during the photo shoot new techniques new props new gear whatever this is maybe the only time for you where you can actually take risks because it cannot harm your career. You will actually see some of my personal test shoots on this YouTube channel. Which leads me to number three, which can actually be a test shoot, is exploring new genres of photography. I'm mainly known as a dance photographer and I was feeling that I was getting stuck into something and I needed to feel that fresh excitement feeling that I had when I first started. So my solution was really simple. I had to discover new things. I had to try myself on new things, try new adventures, and try new genres of photography. I had the opportunity a few years back to uh, do a photo shoot with a martial arts artist and I was scared to death uh, how I was supposed to handle this and it turned out to be uh, a fantastic photo shoot. I love the results. I literally jumped inside the ring with boxer Steve Valenti. <laughs> more athletes, uh, I wanted to shoot athletics, and I had the chance to make this dream come true last summer. You may have seen that I'm now working on the French Riviera in the south of France. Made my research, found some athletes, uh, convinced them to work with me, and it's not my best work, gotta be honest about this, but 
I've learned so much during these sessions made last summer. Challenge yourself and play. Do you really know your 85 millimeter lens? Take it with you in only this lens and shoot architecture. You will soon discover why not a lot of people use this particular lens for art, architecture photography. But this will force you to think differently. You will find solutions to shoot architecture with an 85 millimeter lens. Do the opposite, take a 35 or a 24 or even, I don't know, a 16 millimeter lens and trying to shoot portrait with it, trying to understand why it doesn't work and how you can actually make it work. Do a test shoot and have a model having only their back facing the camera, trying to find creative ways of making interesting portraits that way. A few years back, I was wondering why all these top photographers were shooting during golden hour. Took my camera, set up a test shoot and decided to shoot only during that during midday when you have the harsh, hard sun. Now I know how to shoot in difficult conditions and you too, if you do this, you will be able to face any type of situation. Another great way to learn is to help and assist another photographer, see how they do it. The internet is great to learn, but it's always great to learn in the real world. Reach out to your favorite photographers in your area. Explain them why you wish to help them and if they're okay with that. Some of them will refuse and you gotta respect that. And some will say yes and they will gladly welcome you on their future projects. Little advice, do respect their work. Do not interfere with their creative process unless they ask you for advice. I have a final bonus tip for you guys. Um, sometimes you have to leave your camera at home. Take a break, do something completely different, go on vacation, hang out with friends, uh, call your mom, I don't know, do something that has nothing to do with photography. You can find inspiration in really anything by reading a book, watching a movie, talking to someone, or traveling, love to travel. And it really can spark a fire and lead you to new ideas and amazing new projects. To conclude, really don't get drowned into the business part of photography. Uh, always remember why you got into this career in the first place. If it was for fame and money, I'm not sure you're in this for the right reasons. Always be a student. If you stop learning, I believe there's something wrong. If you lost your joy in doing it, if there is no more fun, sit back, relax, trying to think how you got up to this point. Sometimes being selfish is not a bad thing. Try and think of what you really wish for yourself. Hope this helps. Feel free to share your thoughts on this. How do you improve your skills and fight creative slums? And don't forget to give me that little thumbs up for support. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next week, have a wonderful week.